All right, what we want to do now is get you comfortable with uh, creating an assignment. And in this particular example, it's going to be the advanced uploading of files. So uh, as you know from the previous tutorial, what this is intended to do is give the students a place where they can go read the directions and upload a file for you to review. Now the thing to keep in mind is the students will only see their own assignments when they upload, when they're uploading them. So they don't see anyone else's, so it's a private place for the students. So to get started, we're going to want to turn editing on. And we're going to go to add an activity. And uh, again, you want to do this in the appropriate week or topic. And we're going to want to select advanced uploading of files. And we want to give it a name. So I'm going to keep the name simple, advanced uploading of files. Now the description field is where you're going to give the descriptions for the assignment. So in this case, I'm going to say please upload a four page document that outlines the differences between X and Y. Again, you want to, I recommend that you be as uh, descriptive as possible. You let them know what file formats you're looking for. You let them know the directions for the page. You give them a grade that uh, this is out of. So you can have the scale be a letter grade, satisfactory, simply task completed or anything from 1 to 100. So I'm going to keep the 1 to 100. And here's where you specify the available from and the, avail and the due date. Now the available from date is the uh, time with which they can begin submitting files and the due date is the cutoff date. And the way it works is date, month, year, and this is the time. It goes by military time. So. Here it's uh, 2.35 is the, the time at which this will be available. So I'm going to set the cutoff date to December 30th. And I'm going to make it 11.55 PM. Now down below where it says prevent late submissions, what this will give you the ability to do is determine whether or not you'll take files after the cutoff date. If you have prevent late submissions set to yes, that means that students will not be able to upload after the due date. So in this case, if someone logged on on uh, December 31st, they would not be allowed to upload a file. Under advanced uploading of files, these are the options that are specific to this assignment. And you have a maximum size. Uh, this is the most, uh, this is the largest attachment that the student can upload. So this is um, per student. So for example, if you had four students uploading 19 megabyte files in this example, that would be OK. So keep in mind the maximum size is just the restriction per student. So I'm going to set this to a little bit lower because the students generally uh, should not be submitting something that's 20 megs if it's a Word file. So I'm going to set it down to 5 megabytes. Allow deleting will give the students the ability to delete files that they've uploaded. Occasionally they may upload a file by mistake and you may want them to be able to delete this um, prior to the, the due date. So if you have it set to yes, they'll be able to delete it. This is where you're able to specify the maximum number of uploaded files. So um, in this case it's set to three, so that means students could upload three different files as part of this assignment. Um, a lot of times uh, you can choose to set this to just one if it's just one file that they need to upload, but it's not unusual for instructors to require students to upload multiple files. Allow notes will give the student the ability to take notes. If you hide the description um, before the availability, before the available date, what this will do is hide even the description from the student uh, so that they can't even know what the uh, assignment will be. So if you have this set to yes, they'll just know that there's an assignment, but they won't see what the directions are. You can have, if you set email alerts to teacher to yes, that will give you the ability that will be sent, that will send you an email every time a student submitted a file. Now, I don't recommend doing this if you have a lot of students in your class because you'll end up getting spammed because every time a student submits a file, you'll get an email. And enable send for marking will give you the ability to um, mark the document up and send it back. So we're going to ignore the uh, group settings for now. And you just hit save and return to course. And this will have created the assignment right there for you. So now if you were to click on it, 
you could see the directions, the available from date, the due date, and uh, over here where it says browse and upload the file, this is where the student would actually be uploading a file to you, um, and this is, this is what they would see. So this is how easy it is to set up an assignment, and what I'll do is have another tutorial that will show you how to grade files that have uh, already been uploaded.